Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, you are welcome. Let's ground. As always, guys, it is a collective read for the collective. You may or may not find your energy here, but if you do, all the better. We're going to do a little bit of love psychology first, just to see how your person is thinking or feeling about you at this time, right? Guys, I do have another channel it's called the Pisces channel. So if you're a Pisces, come on over there. Come on, spend some time with me over there. Or if you're dating a Pisces or you just want to know about a Pisces or you just want to be nosy, then come over there. Or if you just want to support me, go over there and hit the subscribe button. You don't have to like the videos, just subscribe. <laughs> but support the girl. Um, somebody says you bring them inner peace and they're playing to win. And they said, finally, maybe, maybe they take a train to get to you or whatever, but they said, finally, somebody's trying to win. Guys, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram, right? Spirit said, be careful. There is, this person could be dealing with the other woman, a wife, a baby's mother, a karmic or an ex, right? Feel free to flip it. This could also be a man that's dealing with, you know, um, you know, whatever, like flip the energy, you know what I mean? Or it could be a woman that's dealing with her child's father, a karmic, an ex, or whatever is what I meant. All right, anything else? How is your person thinking of someone about you right now? Or they could be thinking that you're dealing with your ex, right? Your child's father. They said, I want to do all the things that your ex didn't do. So this person... They want to come and show and prove, right? Holy Spirit, how is the person thinking or feeling about the collective at this time, right? How is your person thinking or feeling about you, collective? They're willing to sacrifice. They're willing to sacrifice whatever it is they got to do to be with you. They're willing to do it. They're playing to win. They're operating from their sacral chakra, right? Ooh, thank you, spirit. They feel like there's some deception and envy going around. They do think that you're dealing with your ex. So they think you're being deceptive and, and that's causing them envy. They're, they're very jealous about it. So they're trying to use their logic and their base chakra. Like they're trying to stay very grounded. They're in their sacral chakra and their base chakra. So this person is trying to stay grounded in regards to the situation because you're their piece and they, they're like, if you're dealing with your ex or something, they don't like it. They are like, no, you're my piece, right? This person's trying to win. They say, you're my piece. Fuck that. Yeah, temptation. They don't know if you're being tempted by your ex. Or what. But he's standing in his power on this. Or she's standing in her power on this. Material and spiritual prosperity. They could have been praying a lot. They wanted to balance things with you. Yeah, this person is in their crown chakra. They are... They are almost aligned. If I was to keep pulling these cards, they probably are. They are very aligned with who you are. And very aligned with what they want. And what they want is you. But they think you're playing footsies with an ex. They said you two are going to re rejoice in celebration. They believe you're going to come together in three cups. Yes, sir, ma'am. Yes, sir, ma'am. That's what they said. Let's put some tarot on this, right? And that's what we do around these parts. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this person? They're playing the wind.
take them in threes, right? So this person is planning to win. And they don't have no regrets about this fight. But they're tired of fighting over you like um, they want another chance. They don't want to fight with you anymore. They want another chance. That's two fives. That's change. They want another chance. Right? You probably walked away from this person. Yeah. They're coming in strong. They're coming in as the emperor and the four wands. They're going to offer you stability and a, a firmer foundation. I guess whatever happened last time, it just y'all just didn't have victory last time. Last time things went wrong. He's gonna take the bull by the horn this time. He's coming in, guys. As the Knight of Swords, he's willing to fight anybody that's getting away. I told you he's planning to win. He knew he messed up last time. Things wasn't balanced last time. Mm. He wants to come in and make things stable with you. He's healed, I guess, from this Ten of Swords, from, I guess, this fuckery that went on. He's tired of holding himself back. I guess he's tired of treating you a certain way. Ace of Swords in reverse. And he's tired of not saying anything about how he feels. I guess before they didn't show their feelings. But they see you uh, playing footsies or spending time with your ex. And now they're like, no, that's my person. You know, that's my piece. Yeah. They see you as the queen of wands and the queen of swords. They know you don't take no shit, right? This person wants to come back. Eight of cups in reverse. You could have walked away from them or they you. But now they want to come back. Now they want to come back. Holy Spirit. Anything else? Now they want to come back. Yep. Six of swords. Swimming away to calmer waters. They want you back. You fulfill them emotionally. They want a new world with you. They want a new chance with you guys. And they've been thinking about this. This has been on their mind for so long. They can't wait to tell you. They've been in hangman for so long. Because of this. This person loves you. King of pentacles. This is divine judgment. This King of Pentacles, in order for this King of Pentacles to get to you, they have to end a Ten of Cups, something that they're in. But he's up in his head about it, right? They're up in their head about it. Either that or this King of Pentacles wants you to end this Ten of Pentacles that, that you're in, the Ten of Cups that you're in. Take it either way, right? Yeah, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They think you are their person. Like, you're their person. And they want you to end whatever it is you pussyfooting around with with your ex. They want you to end it. Yep, the lovers in reverse. I told you. They want you to end it. Because they said they are your everything. And you are theirs. One more card, Spirit. Prince of Cups in reverse. I guess they know they wasn't offering you love before, and that just kind of probably pushed you out the door. They want to come and celebrate with you. They want to change things. They're coming in as the Princes of Pentacles. And they see you as the Princes of Wands. They know you deserve better. They're planning to win this time, right? They see things are coming in for you. Your life is looking good. And things are falling apart for them. Like they're in the middle of ending something. They're, they're, they're sacrificing something to be with you. This person is planning to win. Not a cup to reverse. It seems like you're moving on because they can't seem to make you any offers right now because they're dealing with the child's mother an empress in reverse or somebody who just lost their way in reverse right so as bad as they want you they can't do anything king of cups in reverse princess of swords in reverse 
and then the hermit. It's like he wants you so bad, but he can't do anything with it. So he, he goes back in hermit mode. It's like he tries to come out. He tries. Uh, he puts on his cloak. And then he does nothing. It's like the karmic comes out and he goes back. This is a time in reverse. It's like he's going to try it again. Six of cups in reverse. He's going to try it again. Seven of cups. He, he knows he's running out of options. Running out of time. Mm. He's going to keep trying, I guess. Seven of swords. He's a sneaky person. He's going to keep doing it. Follow your intuition, guys. He's going to keep trying until he gets you. Ace of Wands in reverse. I don't think this is your thing, collective. They plan to win, but whatever. You're moving on because you want balance in your life. I think you're just going to give up on this. There's nine of pentacles in reverse who can't come in. Like You're just going to give up on this. You bring them inner peace and all that, but... Either you're dealing with your ex or they can still be dealing with their ex. And I believe that they are. And they just can't do shit with you. Even though they're playing to win. Yep. You they wish fulfillment. But they can't offer you this love. Ace of Cups in reverse. And you're the Ace of Pentacles. You're moving on. You already have anything. You're like, fuck it. Like, they can't do anything with you. They can't. Because they got their baby mama, baby daddy, jetty, whoever. Fuck up their life for them. So... That's what happens <laughs> when you let people fuck up your life. You lose. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.